Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel, and we're going to continue, of course, our series on malware. And uh, we talked about adware. Now we're talking about a type that you might not know about or hear often, fileless malware. Yes, you can actually get problems in your PC without a file actually executing anything. So how does it actually work? Well, unlike the traditional malware that you have something that you downloaded or clicked on that actually executes and infects your device and devices, this one impacts a different type of, uh, in a different way. And it impacts with software that can actually do things. So it's kind of using software that executes, but with just, Commands, so it's not even a, it's not even a virus. It's just a set of commands or macros. Ever wondered why when you open a file in Word, it always, always tells you that it um, either in, is in protected mode, or there's all sorts of things happening. It's very simple with the macros, and it's been one of the ways that a lot of viruses came in. Um, a Word document can actually do things and modify your system, modify links, and you know do um, modifications that change what you see on the web and so on. Um, it could be a set of commands that executes within the PowerShell. Actually, it seems that almost 40% of global malware is fileless, meaning that's a set of commands running in some uh, app, and 40% and of them is from the PowerShell, um, a lot of them from the PowerShell. It's the top app being used to modify. So because it's fileless, because it's a set of commands or scripts, what happens is that antivirus don't see this. Most antivirus will let this go through because there's no file to scan, and you know you can s send a set of commands and, and, and be okay. It doesn't know if the set of command that it's doing is legitimate or not. And so it makes it very, very difficult. One of the best ways to actually change this and make sure that these fileless malware don't execute, especially if you're in a business field and you have business computers with a lot of people, is to make sure that when you create your user accounts, that instead of the administrative accounts in the accounts, you actually create, in these accounts, you create um, new accounts that are uh, worker school and or simply uh, accounts that are um, driven by a, a lower rate. So instead of administrator, like you see here, what you do is you add someone, but you add someone that doesn't have the same privileges. So you'll add someone that will have just a user account. The user account, because it's not an admin, cannot execute anything. It won't work. So fileless malware, and this is, by the way, often uh, a protection against every type of virus and malware around. Because it can't execute anything without the permission of the admin, it's a very good protection. And actually, if you had to tell me I'm going to give a computer with admin to somebody with an anti a good antivirus, or I'm going to give somebody a computer that has just user standard user rights with no antivirus, you're way more protected with just the standard user rights without an antivirus because you can't run anything without the admin's permission. So yeah, fileless exists, and it's mostly scripts and sets of commands that can be actually executed through a browser, through all sorts of means, without even you knowing. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.